Okay, so this tutorial, we're gonna go over how to set up your header and your footer at the bottom of the page. So we've got five minutes, so I'm gonna kind of quickly go through this. So um, the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna create this header section. So um, you're gonna hit the control. And here it's gonna ask you what type of control you want. Um, we don't want a section break, we want a header marker. So that's gonna create a header marker for us. And then we can go ahead and create whatever is above the header marker will be um, classified as our header. So we're gonna add a, and I know it's up here, but I'm just gonna pretend like we're creating a new one. So we're gonna create a container. So you can see my container here. Um, you can see if I take this out that there's three sections to this header. So there's one where the, the image is, another one where the menu will go, and then another one where our buttons will go. Now you can have up to four columns within a container. And so if you want you know, to have more than just a menu in the middle or whatnot, you can, you can adjust that however you want. But for this tutorial, we're just gonna do three. So we're gonna select the container and on the type, we're gonna put columns. And let me just make sure that we don't have any styles we do. Let me get rid of this. Um, what I just got rid of is that was a style that I put on um, another container on the website. Whenever you create a container, it's going to grab some of the styles that you've put into other containers. Um, and so I was just getting rid of that. So here it's showing that I have two containers now or two columns within the container. I'm gonna add one more for three. And then we are going to make any adjustments. So that is full screen. Um, we can adjust that if we'd like it to be more, um, you can see how that kind of adjusts the width of it. I'm okay with full screen. Um, we can do some padding. So vertical padding, we can do one. Um, so that's just gonna put padding above it, uh, in, within the container and then horizontal, we're gonna do two maybe. So it's not going clear to the edge of the website. Your gutters are gonna be the space between each of these columns. And so if we add this, let's do, I don't know, 1.5. There's a little space and you can you can make those as big or small as you want. So I think 1.5 is just fine. Um, okay, the next thing we're gonna do is add in our content. So if we want our logo, um, we can add an image here. It's gonna put an image there and we can put in our whatever logo we have. Looks like that is what I've got right now. So we'll just accept that. And then you can adjust your, your image size here. So we're gonna scale that down and there you go. So there's our logo. The other thing is in this container, you can make the adjustments. Um, so this is the alignment in these columns. So again, coming back to the selecting the container, coming to this tab here, um, you can click into these set different columns and adjust whether the content in those columns are going right or left or center. So this one I'm gonna do right because I want it to butt up right against the, the menu. Um, and then also just so it's even on the right side, I wanna put it left. So it's kind of got the same space, space on this side. There's, there's a million ways that you can do this and you can adjust it to however you need. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put in a menu. So we can put in links or buttons. I prefer links on the menu nav. So here, let's say we've got our homepage. Um, we've got our uh, tutorial page, I guess. And we've got, let's say courses, okay. These are links that are going somewhere to your card website. Now with the links, um, the URL is going to be, let's say this home link, we want to direct us to this home page here. The URL for that is simply going to be home, as it is on the section. So uh, number sign home. And we're gonna do the same for the other links. So it looks like we're running out of time. So there's gonna be a part two. We'll start up where we left off with this.